This video is brought to you by Young Dad Gaming on Facebook, playing Ran Online and Special Forces here in the Philippines. Go check out his Facebook page through the description down below and revisit your childhood gaming memories. This content is brought to you by Neroforte as well. Right here, he suggested this content to be brought to you guys. The Kodisa KDE61 is highly unrecommended. We'll talk more about that because of the switches, stabilizers, and the build quality itself. For a price of 1,000 pesos or around $20, it's very cheap. Sure, some of you guys have so much money. Some of you guys even have sugar mommies or sugar daddies. But still, 999, 1,000 pesos, $20 for this keyboard. The Kodisa KDE61 is a keyboard I highly do not recommend. Here's why. We were promised Gatorons and we get Kyle YH. I've never seen them before. The build on the switches do not look good but feels comparable to Altemu so I would say they feel pretty standard to type on. Build quality is nowhere near a keyboard of its price. Very lightweight, highly plasticky and very hollow. Plus, I don't even know what kind of stabilizers they're used here. I don't even know how to modify them. Cable is non-detachable as well so keep that in mind. The keycaps are standard. I have no complaints about them. But the stabilizers, then again. <sighs> Stabilizer wires are super thin. Although it does the job, it isn't very good at it. It's supposed to keep the key balanced, but then, ah, oh my god, it's a huge disappointment. Some keys that are supposed to be stabilized do not even have a stab wire in it. As for the aesthetics, it's LEDs non-cycling, therefore colors do not change, but the patterns do. Here's a quick sound test for you guys. Overall, the Kodisa KDE61 is not a good keyboard for its price. Plus, they lied about having these in Gatoron, so uh, this turned me off. What do you think? Do you like it? If you think you'll enjoy the keyboard, no one's stopping you from buying it. Uh, I took a huge dump on the keyboard. Uh, that doesn't mean it's a bad keyboard. These are just my opinions. Hmm? Anyways, quick shout out to Daryl Abuda from the FJAM team of Top Frag Marketing. I hope you enjoy the keyboard that you are about to purchase. I, I'm not really sure. I think I I will post this video once you've purchased the keyboard. Anyways, see you guys next time. Be better, Nero. Bye bye.